Hi. Hey, sorry I'm late. I had to stop and get everything for the party tomorrow. Right. I got the turkey, stuffing, yams, all the ingredients for the pumpkin pie. Great. Oh, you want me to do anything while you cook all this stuff? <laughs> no, just watch your football game and keep out of the way. Oh, Mike, mm -hmm. do you realize this is the first time we'll have four whole days off together? I got big plans for us. Tonight, we're gonna come home early, climb into bed, then have breakfast in bed, read the paper in bed, maybe rent some movies. Mm, watch them in bed. Oh, you wanna? Mm. <laughs> oh, God, no. What? It's Gary Carp and his wife, Patty. There was supposed to be a way. If she sees us, our four days are ruined already. Well, I've met her before. She seems okay. I like her better than him. Yeah, that's what you think. Look, scoop, scoop, scoop. Oh, God, she's got us. Kim, hi. Hey, hi, guys. Hi, hi you two. Uh, Mike, you remember Gary and hi, his Gary. wife, hey, Patty? Patty Shapiro Carr. We met at the restaurant that time. Yeah, nice to see you. Can you believe they lost our reservation? Oh. Or else someone didn't make a reservation and said they did. I don't know which. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's how I get my kicks. Pretend to make a reservation, have a show up, and then not have one be there. Was well, there a long wait for a table? 45 minutes, and I'm hypoglycemic. If I don't get to eat something soon, I'm gonna turn into a total bitch. Usually, I carry crackers in my pockets. <laughs> Would you guys mind if maybe we joined you? Gary, I don't want to impose. Well, uh, we... We kind of... No, 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 no. It's no problem. Here. Thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gary said you guys were going out of town this weekend. What the hell happened? Oh, well, we were supposed to go visit my parents in Arizona, but my sister's gonna be there. Oh, what a nightmare. Kim, you would hate her. Oh, just listening to you, I hate her already. <laughs> so anyway, it turns out we're gonna be in town for Thanksgiving after all. Any place special you'd like to forget to make reservations at for tomorrow night? I didn't make reservations for hell, and yet here I am. Uh, you know, we've got plenty of food if you guys want to come over Kim's. Oh, no. What? That is so sweet. Uh, what can we bring? Oh, uh... We've got everything with traditional fare. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't eat turkey at all. I'm deathly allergic to L tryptophan. Oh, you know what I would love? Some halibut. Well, it is potluck, so feel free to bring some. And all them halibut fixins. Where are you gonna get halibut on Thanksgiving? Well, if you want it badly enough, you can find it. Try Koreatown. I don't think it's one of their holidays. <laughs> Lucky me, I won't have to watch that stupid Cowboys Chiefs game on television. I can be driving around Koreatown tomorrow looking for halibut. Fine, I will get my own halibut. Fine, get your own halibut. Ow. What was that for? Do anything. Oh, sorry. God, I am so happy we ran into you guys. I miss you. And Gary never tells me anything. And this one, is he adorable? Oh, you guys are so lucky to be just starting out. Did you know it will be our fifth wedding anniversary on Sunday if we make it? Patty, Patty, I don't want to get into this, please. Oh, yeah, I'm with him. But we need an objective opinion. When we got married, Gary made me sign a prenuptial. He promised he would tear it up if we made it to five years, and now he wants an extension. What kind of message does that send to me? Honey, I'm just afraid if I tear up that agreement that you won't treat me as nicely as you do now. I mean, look, guys, I'm already paying alimony to my first wife. If, God forbid, this marriage doesn't work with my lovely wife, Patty, I'd like to be left with a little something. That's so romantic, Gary. Don't buy me an anniversary present. Just say that again. Kim, Mike, do you believe this? Uh, you guys, we, we really don't want to get in the middle of this. We just want to have a fun, relaxing weekend. Fun. Relaxing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't believe in prenuptial agreements. What do you mean you don't believe in them? It's not like the tooth fairy, they exist. I know they exist. I believe in the Ebola virus, too. I just don't want to welcome it into my marriage. 
I'm not getting married until I find my soulmate, someone I feel I can stick with for the rest of our lives, no matter what. Well, that's really beautiful, Mike, but here on Earth where I plan to be married, half the marriages fail. So you gotta be realistic. And if one partner has most of the money, I can understand why they'd want to protect themselves. How can you go into a marriage expecting it to fail? It's so cold-blooded. Oh, hey, I'm not cold-blooded. I'm as romantic as anyone I know. I just don't want to get screwed, that's all. So you're saying that if you and I were ever to, you know, you would want a prenup? Oh, yeah, I guess I might. It protects you, too. Yeah, God forbid I lose my Taurus. <laughs> You know, you might think differently if you had the majority of the assets. Do you know, under California law, I could end up paying you alimony for years? First, I know the law better than you do, honey. Oh, but, but don't call me honey. And second, Slick, I assume that you make more money than I do, but not that much more. Oh, well, I think you'd be a little surprised. Well, I think maybe you'd be a little surprised at how much I make. Are you sure you want to motor down this road? Why? How much do you make? Oh, I'm not going to say it out loud. It'll sound like I'm bragging. Okay. <laughs> you write yours down, and I'll write mine down, and we'll swap papers. Mike, th this is silly. Oh, well, you don't want to do it then? No, no, I want to do it. You make this much for doing some crappy TV show? Oh, boy, this was a bad idea. No, 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 listen. <sighs> More power to you. Although you could have at least paid for dinner. Mike, is this gonna be a problem? I would hate for this to be a problem now when it never has been one before. No, because I'm not gonna let it be a problem. Geez, you make ball player money. Really? God, those guys are overpaid. <laughs> Mike? Hey. Hey. Right. You sure got up early? Well, there's a lot to do. Hmm. Mike? Yeah? Are you sure this money thing doesn't bother you? What do you mean? Well, last night was the first night since we've been together that we didn't make love. Well, it's a holiday. People take a break. <laughs> so it is a problem. Look, be honest with me. Okay. Tell you the truth, there was a little problem last night. It was a bigger problem by about 1 in the morning. By 4 a.m., I took a little walk. I was feeling better, and now I'm fine. Other than the fact that we live in a totally screwed up society. Well, you're a lawyer. Can't you make up a law where you make more money or something? Hey, if I really wanted to rake it in, I could work for one of those big downtown firms. But I love what I do. I'm making a difference. And you're obviously very good at what you do. Even if you don't know how a law is made. Mike. Yeah. So you really are okay with this? You sure? I really am. If I didn't have to finish stuffing this turkey, I'd prove it to you. Oh, yeah? How long would that take? Uh, about two minutes. Way too long. Ooh. Coming! Hey. Uh, am I too early? No, not at all. Mike, did you see my stockings? I can't help you look for them now. Rob is here. Already? I could come back. No, 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 really, really. You're, you're on time. We're running a little late. We got a little sidetracked. Yeah, well, glad you had fun today. I watched the parade. Can I get you something to drink? Yeah, sure, I'll have a Sprite. Right. This is nice. Give us a chance to talk. Yeah. So how long do you think Kim will be? Look, Rob, I know this is a little awkward here. What do you mean? Well, I've been around you before, and you know, it's not hard to see that you have feelings for Kim, and 
I'm the guy who came out of nowhere and, you know, maybe in your mind, took her away. <laughs> what? Where'd you get that? Y you know, instead of a Sprite, I think I'll have uh, maybe, I don't know, a shot of tequila. <laughs> it's just a vibe I get, that's all. You know, when I first moved out of here from Baltimore, there was this extremely attractive older woman who worked in my office. And I got fixated on her for a while, and maybe I'm just projecting on you how it feels. You can never have her? Well, what actually happened isn't important. Jim, hurry up! <laughs> I'm sorry, look, I was making a point. The point is that if you have a crush on Kim, I understand, and I'm okay with it. Look, I think Kim's real cute and everything, but she is out of my league. I mean, she's so powerful, she makes so much money that I honestly don't think I could deal with it. Not that I'm not pulling in a pretty nice chunk of change myself these days. So, uh... <clears throat> what is a rookie writer making these days? <laughs> I don't want to brag. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, is it, uh, more than this? This is what you make? Boy, you sure pulled my Thanksgiving out of the toilet. Thanks. <laughs> Kim, what are you doing up there? <laughs> we got Julian in that tequila. Yeah, you need it. <clears throat> hey, Ralph. Hey, Kim. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh. Hi. Mm. Thanks for inviting me. I thought you were going to bring somebody. Yeah, I know I said that, but uh, Thanksgiving is really a relationship holiday, and I'm not seeing anybody special right now. Besides, I don't think you should bring somebody you just met to a stranger's Thanksgiving party. Hey, Neil. Hey, hope you, you don't mind. I brought a hitchhiker. <laughs> not at all. Come on in. Mike Ryan, Kim Cooper, Rob Paley, this is... I'm sorry. Cindy. Real tough. Cindy, yeah. <laughs> We're just going to stay for dinner, and then I'm taking her the rest of the way to Bakersfield. I really appreciate you all inviting me in like this when you hardly know me. Is there some place I can wash off the road? Yeah, there's a bathroom upstairs. And there's one right over there. Thanks. I'll be right back. How does this happen? I mean... I've never before in my life seen a hitchhiker this cute, and you get her on the back of your motorcycle with you? It's like everything else in life, young Rob. You just have to know the right on-ramps. Mm. Well, however you met her, Neil, I'm just glad to see you're getting over your obsession with Carol from Wardrobe and getting on with your life. Yes, Cindy's great. Sexy, down-to-earth, just my type. Mm. When is Carol getting here? She can't make it, Neil, so she's not going to see you two together. And what the hell am I doing with a hitchhiker? <laughs> Neil, can I get you anything to drink? Something strong enough to root out the last pangs of a lost love. Or a Diet Coke, whichever is easier. I am still thinking about this morning. Oh, it was so nice. You know, after last night, I was a little worried that a whole weekend would be ruined. But everything worked out great. And just think, we still have three more perfect days ahead of us. Happy Thanksgiving. Here, I brought halibut. What happened? Where's Gary? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? How much clearer can I be? We were arguing last night till 2 a.m. about the prenuptial. And in the heat of things, I just happened to mention a couple of the guys I could have married if I wanted to. <laughs> and Gary, you know Gary, he took offense. He just stormed out without his electric toothbrush or his pajamas. Nothing. Well, he won't get far. <laughs> I haven't heard from him since. I was hoping he'd be here. Oh. You have a really nice bathroom. Thanks. Hey, can I grab something to drink? Uh, sure. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Cindy, the hitchhiker Neil brought for Thanksgiving. She's very pretty. If you see Carol from wardrobe, tell her I was with her. <laughs> well, I don't want to ruin your Thanksgiving. Go on with your fun. No, 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 Patty, no. We're not going to have any fun knowing
knowing that Gary's out there somewhere. In fact, it looks like we're not gonna have any fun ever. Gary. Gary? Where were you? I was worried about you. Yeah, I was driving around all night and all day. I just, I had to think this thing through and just try and make some sense of it. Didn't I see you on the Harbor Freeway this morning? Did you stop? No. Then who cares? Do you have any idea what you have put me through? No, it isn't all about you, Patty, and I don't want to talk about our personal problems in front of anybody ever again. When have I ever... No, you do it all the time. You're doing it now. Oh, am I doing it now? You yeah. really are, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Honey, sweetheart, I, I still want to make this work, but only if this kind of thing stops. No, I mean it. I go to a high-pressure job to get away from the tension in my life. I'm sorry, Gary. I don't mean to do that to you. I really don't. Whatever you may think, I do love you. I know, sweetheart. And... <laughs> I love you, too. I mean, no matter how much I wish I didn't, sometimes I... <laughs> I do. So, here is your prenuptial, Patty. Happy anniversary. Oh, Gary. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> But I didn't eat today, okay? <laughs> okay, now that we've had the traditional tearing of the prenuptial agreement, let's eat. Oh, you know what would make my life perfect right now? A baby. Oh, no, 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 no way. Don't, 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 don't do that, no. I mean, I've already had two kids, honey. Don't, please, I, I love you, but I don't want to start all over again. We need an objective opinion. Kim, Mike, don't you think people who are in love should have children? Oh, God. I'm not saying I don't want kids ever. I mean, I love other people's kids. I just don't want any of my own in the foreseeable future, if at all. What's more important than raising kids? How about being ready to raise kids? Look, I worked 10 years to get to where I am now. I'd like to enjoy it for a while. Why are we even discussing this? Because it's a giant issue. Don't you think we should get it on the table? Not this weekend, no. I hate Patty Carp. I'm sorry, but this is not something that just goes away. I come from a big family. I always picture myself having about four or five kids. But four or five? My uterus just did a backflip. <laughs> What do you do with that many children? Live in a shoe? You bring them up. And unlike my mother, you certainly could afford help. Oh, so now we're back to the money again, huh? Great. OK, I'll tell you what. Let's forget it. Oh, no, 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 no. We got it open. Let's do it, OK? Any other touchy subjects you want to bring up while we're at it? How about religion? How would we raise the kids, Mike? And what about politics? I'll make you a side bet. In the next presidential election, we cancel out each other's votes. And while I'm on a roll, I'll bring up something else that I've been keeping to myself that might be a problem. The Baltimore Orioles suck. Oh, well, and you like who, the Yankees? 23 world championships, the Orioles have what? Three, maybe? You know, all the other stuff we could conceivably compromise on, but you're very close to crossing a line here. Oh. <laughs> So what are you saying? If I don't like the stupid Orioles, that it's all over? No, I'm saying if you don't keep it to yourself, it's all over. Oh, well, the Orioles suck. Orioles suck. The Yankees suck. And are you a Knicks fan? Yes. Oh, the Knicks suck. Oh, what are you talking about? You don't even have a basketball team. That's how pathetic Baltimore is. We have the Bullets. Oh, that is not Baltimore. That's Washington. And for your information, they happen to represent the greater Baltimore-Washington area, which, if you knew anything, is considered almost one big city, which I think, if you added it all up and included Northern Virginia and Western Delaware, would be bigger than New York. What kind of idiot are you? That is three different states. And I still don't want a lot of kids. I don't even know if I want to have them with you. Oh, fine. Fine with me. Who asked for them? Now I'd never do it. You know, listen to me. I, you know, I hate it when I get like this. It's you. You're the only one who gets me this way. Well, if I make you that crazy, why do you even bother? I don't know. Maybe because I love you. Oh, great, great. You can't say I love you for the first time in the middle of a fight. How, I'll never be able to enjoy it. That is so typical. Well, if 
I'm such a pain in the ass, what are you doing with me? I don't know. I must love you, too. Well, okay. Can we say it once without shouting? I love you. I love you. Wow. Yeah. What is it? Nothing. Then why won't you let me go? I don't know. I just never thought I would have this. Someone to love me who I love back. I always thought that maybe I was, oh, too much for a mere mortal to contend with, you know? And then, and then, I just love you. <laughs> Gary? What are you doing here? I rang the bell. I guess you guys didn't hear it. I, uh, have you thrown the trash out yet? Uh, yeah, it's out back. Why? I need that prenuptial back. <laughs> Patty and I are splitting up for good this time. You're kidding. What happened? What happened is what always happens. She will not get off my case. She promises to stop, but she just cannot help herself. I can't take it anymore, Kim. Wait, but Gary, you're crazy about her. You said she was the most beautiful woman you ever saw in your life. You couldn't believe that she would marry you. I still can't. But, Gary, if you love somebody, you, you can find a way of working it out. Can't you? And you do love her. Yeah, well, sometimes love just isn't enough. I'll be out in your trash. <laughs>